because I'm going to be going to Vegas for it, is Shakur and, and De La Santos. Um, we talked briefly about it. Uh, you know, my one of my videos went viral on uh, Richardson Hitchens saying that he sparred De La Santos and Shakur and says it's a 50-50 fight. Um, when it comes down to that matchup alone, the hard-hitting Southpaw De La Santos, Dominican man, what do you think about that matchup? And, um, you know, is this is this the best opponent for Shakur? I like the matchup. You know, I've been checking. I checked him out since I seen the fight was made. Um, he got kind of an unorthodox kind of style. He got power, explosive. He going to try to knock Shakur out. Um, and he, he going to come to fight, but uh, Shakur to me is um, uh, of course I don't see him beating Shakur out in no way, shape, or form, but I would like to see him land a couple hard shots on Shakur because Shakur is not a big lightweight. He's like, you know, he's not a big lightweight at all. So I'm like, like a true lightweight. Yeah, he naturally a lightweight. Like, he's not really, you know. But I would like to see him take his shot, like see him get hit, which is hard to do. That's the hardest part is to hit Shakur in the first place. But I like it, you know. Um, I like it, man. You know, I'm going to be there. You know, I'm, I'm training a little cash flow. Uh, and he'll be on the undercard, so I'm going to be there. And, um, I, you know, it's a good fight. I accept it. I, I give it my stamp of approval. Um, best, uh, best opponent on, on Shakur's resume at right now? I think he'd beat everybody Shakur fought, so. Ooh. Yeah, he'd definitely beat everybody Shakur fought, in my opinion. And it'll knock a lot of people out, too. Oh, hands down. So, you know, and we got a Shakur. One thing about Shakur is he was looking for the best available opponent. So, I mean, he had to take what was there, so. At the end of the day, I, I accept this fight. That guy um, came off a good knockout win against that, what's his name, Valenzuela? Yeah, but he fought after that. He fought Joseph Adorno and, and fought uh, a clean a clean victory. He didn't lose not one round. So he showed he could he showed he could box right. as well. Oh, because Adorno was a he was a good amateur. He beat he beat Shakur in the amateurs. Adorno. Wait. Oh, 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 okay, okay. Uh, yeah, but Shakur is a whole other animal. Like you know, right? You know he, you know he a whole other animal. But he gonna test Shakur and test his. You know, hopefully he can test his chin. Like I say, you know, it's hard to it's hard to hit Shakur as it is. You know, but it's a great it's a real good fight. You know, Shakur fought the best available opponent. Now, like you just said, like, and I like that you said it because you know I believe the same thing. I do want to see Shakur get hit by him flush um, because it will show the grit that Shakur got and the beard that he got. And also leading up to a Javante Tank Davis fight, it would sell more. It would be more like now people that, you know, are Tank fans looking at like, whoa, you know, he he ate that, you know. You think that um, that, that matchup kind of like soups up a Tank fight more? I ain't going to lie. I don't think this match. Well, it's on ESPN on the Thursday, kind of like a special kind of fight night. Yeah, to help, you know, because Shakur, after a while, we're going to want to see Tank in there with like a magician, you know, somebody like him or Devin Haney. Because mm. almost be like, who can who can tank, take Tank to 12 rounds, give him an obstacle? And on the flip side, can Tank knock them out? So, you know, can he knock out Shakur? Because you almost can tell Shakur is going to be hard to beat, you know, in the decision. So, other than Devin Haney, you can't even see nobody in the around that weight to where it even look like somebody can beat him on decision. Like, I don't like so him, him and Tank, and him and Devin is the only guys that you could even see possible. With them beating each other, it's kind of like a round robin with those three. Um, I like Lomachenko a lot. I would like to see him seeing him. But at this stage, he probably getting down his last year or two of boxing. So his management probably stepped up and said, you know, we don't want to take two L's straight. You know, we want to go win the belt. Um, we don't want to fight Shakur. I couldn't really knock him. I wanted to see it. 
that would have been a better fight than this guy because I think I know Lomachenko probably would definitely beat the guy that he's fighting, but but I give Shakur's respect of fighting the best that was out there. Still a good fight to watch. It's going to be an action fight, I'm sure. And um, um, him and Tank should be happening the end of next year, I think, or the beginning of 2020.